Oh, silent night. What silent night? This is Los Angeles. This is one of the largest sprawling metropolitan areas in the country. Oh, hi, it's me, America's favorite old fart. America's favorite old fart! It was around this time last year that my family was getting ready for the holidays in the height of the pandemic. And we were trying to make it feel normal, feel safe, and, well, feel festive. Festivity. It's something you can control. It's all about who you want to be festive for, how you want them to feel. For me and the people I love, I want them to feel like every year is the most special year ever. <laughs> And that never changes. This is Galen. I'm Galen. My wife. Hi. She loves Christmas. I love Christmas. She loves Christmas movies, and we watch a whole list of them every year. Christmas time was drawing near. I had a holiday. Love hard, die hard, boy Christmas, office Christmas episode, Mad Men Christmas episode, a boy called Christmas, Jingle Jangle, single all the way, serendipity, love actually. Christmas Vacation, Happiest Season, Home Alone, Edward Scissorhands, Polar Express, Office Christmas Party, Miracle on 34th Street, The Night Before Christmas, The Night Before, with Four Christmases, Elf, Muppet Christmas Carol, Grooged, Muppet Family Christmas, Christmas Story, Klaus, It's a Wonderful Life. My personal favorite, The Family Stone. During the holidays, I'll bring her coffee and cookies in the afternoon. And quite honestly, I'm surprised she hasn't turned into a dancing gingerbread man. Er, woman in this instance, or maybe she has. During the holidays, I pack up and send out a card to thank those who I worked with throughout the year, with the hopes that they'll understand how much I truly appreciate them sticking their neck out and have me work on projects throughout the year. I usually get the boys to help me with this. We print out thank you cards and include a cup of coffee in some form or another. Usually I'd bring the boys into the office and hand them out to all the people who set me up for success during the year. But work hasn't been what it's been in the past. There sometimes may not even be an office to go to. So I figured out a way to get these into envelopes, which I can send through the mail. This year, I'm not sure how we'll get these to the post office in time. We better get to it, but at least we're feeling festive about it. There's no snowstorm on the west side of Los Angeles. Over the last few years, it's actually been warm enough to continue to enjoy the ocean well into December. On this side of town, it can get pretty cold, also known as dropping below 70 degrees. Even if that's not a winter wonderland, we'll still be festive for being festive's sake.
If you've at all followed our family's journey over the past few years, you know that every holiday season we try to catch Santa in the act. We've gotten lucky and caught a few glimpses of his wonderful magic act, jumping from roof to roof with his reindeer pulled sleigh and only pausing to bring Christmas joy. Jumps good old Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, from the top. <gasps> Up on the house top, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down to the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little one's Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who will it go? Ho, 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 who will it go? Chimney goes on Saint Nick. Nick. Oh, you know that song. I do know that song. Well, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And Merry Christmas to you, Stocking. I guess that's a good night from us this holiday season. No matter where you are, no matter where you're from, I sincerely hope you find joy. You are worthy of peace. Every day is a process, and we never know what it might take. Wherever this coming year takes us, let's put yesterday behind us and try again tomorrow. Happy holidays and good night. Ready? You ready? I was born ready. 